PSP version 5.06. The firmware includes scalability for for functions such as the PlayStation Store. It also includes a patch for something which I don't even know about. Once you up, once you update to this version, you should not downgrade unless you are planning to hack the PSP firmware, which I hope, which I hope that Dark Alex is going to do, also known as TM33. Now I'm going to update the PSP to the latest firmware. Oh, and the noise you hear in the background is, is the game my brother is playing. He's playing Resistance 2 for the PlayStation 3. For the people who don't know about Resistance 2, it's a game that came out last year. It's great. Resistance 2 is a great game and you will probably enjoy it. PSP 3000, which I like to call it PSP 3. Already at 71 percent, 70 percent. And oh, um, people who don't know what this says, it says. It says installing. Please do not remove the memory stick or AC adapter. <sighs> or turn off the PSP. If you do that, you're gonna you're pretty much break the PSP. And now the update's complete. It says. The updates complete. You, you can now delete this from the memory stick. Press X to continue. As you can see it says system software version 5.03 and this is my username on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe.
There's something that most people would not notice sometimes is that the time can be set. You don't have to set this manual. Since now updated to the latest system software, you can now go into the PlayStation Store. recommend you watch some PlayStation news. I recommend you watch some PlayStation news because it's a great way to get caught up on the PSP scene. This is Orange15 and thanks for watching.